Hey, what's up everybody? Our Boots Games here and today I'm going to show you how to get a lot of uh how to easily get a lot of points stored up in uh the bank in transit mode. So I've been doing this a few times. I haven't done it a ton, but it's I would say it's really effective. I haven't really it's I kind of wish it would show you how much points you actually had in the bank, but unfortunately it doesn't. I'm just going to turn down the volume because it seems really loud to me. Well, I could just turn down my speakers, but that's too easy. Uh, so, this isn't like a glitch or anything. This, like, it's just a strategy. If it, I'm not going to be like, remove all all of your points in the bank run around the map four times clockwise and yeah there isn't going to be a bunch of stupid steps to magically make something work it requires skill i'm playing on original i guess you could play on uh on uh easy mode but to me an easy difficulty the game is just too boring cuz the zombies walk like for pretty much the whole game and there really isn't much of a challenge so basically what I do in this first area I obviously kill all the zombies rebuild the barriers for the points right now I'm not yeah I wasn't getting any points but that's not a problem I bought the M14 off of the wall because uh, I just like to I could be getting a uh, self revive right there but I don't really feel like it right now and um yeah this is the piece I wanted actually if you oops if you put uh the turbine like right there in the corner you should be able to open up both of these doors so really I'm just gonna put this on the bus because uh it makes it easier to get off of the bus earlier or not earlier, later. But, yeah. So you want to get on... Well, right now you don't have to get on the bus. I just like to because it's fun. Double points. Always nice to get that. And there we go. Uh, usually I move at like around 3, but... I just wanted to get out of that area quickly. Whoops. Not on tactical. But basically you'll just be spending uh, most of the game at the, at the diner up ahead. Because that's where... Well, to me that is probably the best or the easiest place to survive. Except for maybe in here. But the diner has the MP5 and... I like the MP5, so... Oh, and it's also got the uh, the zombie shield. And the zombie shield is... Crap. Wow, that was close. And the zombie shield comes in handy quite a bit. Because... Actually, hold on. Let me actually get to the diner first. So here it is, and... I'm just going to stay on the bus because... Uh, the earlier I can get the bus to lead this area, the earlier I can get it to make its lap around so I can get on a second time. So I'll just wait until I hear him honking the horn and I'll just jump off. Unfortunately, you don't you don't want to get overrun, so I think if I get back on the bus and then close the door, then he'll start honking the horn to leave. So, let's just do that. And, there we go. I think I'll keep a zombie. For now, okay. You're not going to leave? Yep, there we go. Okay, so he's honking his horn, and he should be leaving soon. So, right now, I'm going to make the zombie shield. You might be thinking, if you're not really going to... Or you might be thinking, like, the zombie shield really isn't too helpful. 
because if you use it you don't get points and that's kind of the whole point of this is to get points but uh, you're not going to be wasting your time turning on the power so you're not going to be getting juggernaut so this is a really helpful tool I guess because if I had this on my back and you can hear he's hitting it you don't take any damage it's not like it's reduced damage you like you don't take any damage at all and of course of course I forgot to do this but when you're on the bus you want to buy the B23 at least I usually do I don't know why I didn't do it this one time but that's a good because the B23 I think I don't know this but I think it's got more damage than the MP5 so if you need to kill zombies quickly to get them out of your way then you might want to use the B23 but you should be fine without it so I usually do this like you I usually don't come back here I just get a bunch of points and then empty it all or all that I can into the the safe in the town and then it just just end up dying usually you wouldn't want to be shooting all that often but but sorry about that usually you want to be shooting into like big groups of zombies but to, like to maximize your points but that's really if you get a max ammo, you might as well just shoot any zombie. The good thing about the M14 is uh, it does have lower damage, so you can maximize your points even more. You can buy the box. I usually buy it at least once, but like just to see what I get. But usually, usually I don't buy the box more than once. Now when I do this, uh, I tend to get to like around maybe 9 to 12, around there, before the bus comes back. And when you get on the bus to leave again, it would, pro it would be better if there's like one zombie left so that, uh, so that you don't have to worry about the zombies attacking you when you jump off the bus. Because you will be getting attacked by the denizens, so that'd make it a little more annoying. So now when there's a big group, you just obviously shoot into it, which is basically how Zombies is played. But, uh, that's a nuke. Um, since I'm going for points and not, like, how fast the rounds go, I'm not going to pick that up. But if I kill all the zombies off, then... Might as well just pick it up, because it's extra points. Oh, let's see if I can get him. And where's the last zombie? I'll just pick it up. Okay. Or it can just disappear right before I pick it up. Uh, yeah. You want to start every round with at least close to full ammo. Did I get that? Yeah, I got it. So I'll just buy more. Uh, yes. The bus should be coming around soon, but, yeah. Another thing you want to do is you might want to start in the diner or, like, on the other side of it. But you don't want to wait there too long. But the reason you want to start there is because it'll spawn in, like, a few zombies. The downside to that is it's not, like, the safest thing because you can sometimes get like a line of zombies coming from there and obviously they would be cutting you off so I've gotten hit quite a few times but just because I have uh, the zombie shield I haven't taken any damage so that's nice and I think yeah my turbine is still going so I guess if you want to spend points on uh, on uh, speed cola then you can just put the turbine by it and you'll have it uh, I might as well just get this insta kill 
knife. Yeah. I don't know if I... S I'm pretty sure I said this, but just in case, I'll say it again. I usually get about 10,000 points every time I do this, so... I'd say it's pretty good. I'm not gonna buy more ammo. So my... my uh, not really windshield, but my window is cracked. Or it's actually completely broken. So... There isn't, you can't, like, put the, you yeah, see the bus is back, you can't put the zombie shield on the ground and then pick up another one, so you just gotta, gotta pay attention to whether, if you actually have a zombie shield or not, cause if you're going for safety, you're obviously gonna want the zombie shield on your back. Uh, I'll just clear off this attempt to clear oh god okay. I got insta kill so that'll obviously help quite a bit there you go and you wanna when you when you have insta kill you do wanna watch out because uh you don't want the zombies to explode on you cause that's a really easy way to go down so actually kill one of these and I'll let the other one on the bus, and they'll start moving slowly, so I'm just going to wait for this bus to leave, and the zombie decided to jump up right as I tried jumping over this. So now you just got to wait for the bus to leave. Um, I do have, I probably should have bought more MP5 ammo, so then I could, uh, like go another round at the at the town so you oh, wow I almost fell off there buddy don't do that so you want to be paying attention to uh, the scenery it's, it's gonna be on your left and right there you see that you want to jump off right there and these denizens will attack you you don't really have to worry about the first one because the first time you play, the Denizen will he'll jump off with uh, the first um, with the first knife, so that's not a problem. So then you want to throw a grenade at this. I'm sure I'm sure most of you know about the bank, but if you don't, then happy birthday. So that was 11,000 points there, and so what I do here is I usually just run in circles around over here. It's probably not the best place, because they can come from a lot of different directions. But also, another good place to do it is over here. This might be a better place, because there's less places. Actually, there's probably about the same amount of places you could get hit by lava. And if you get overrun over here, you can always just go around this. And this car acts like a pretty decent barrier so that the zombies won't be able to cut you off. And I'll just go through this round and empty out all the points that I've made. Of course, I don't have much ammo left in my MP5. So let's see if I can make it through this round. Usually I do make it to a higher round doing this, I guess. Rounds went slower this time. Oh, max ammo. That's good. Uh, Let's just go through here. Keep it safe. And right there, yeah. My screen shook, so that means my zombie shield is gone. So pay attention to that. And I think I hear the bus. So I think, well, I guess it depends if you have, uh, like, the train front on the bus. But I think the bus can still kill the zombies. So I'll just empty out the rest of my points and... So basically, if you want... 
I kind of wish there was a way that it would show how much points you had in here, but it doesn't. So I've probably got quite a few points in there. So basically, it's a pretty simple strategy. Like I said, you can't always put it on easy mode, but to me, easy mode is just too boring. So I'll make my final stand here, and I hope you like this video. I hope this helped you to get, uh, or I hope this will help you to get a lot of points stored up in the bank so you can use them later, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do, and I will see you later. Bye.